Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see about two topics, left recursion and left factoring in compiler design. First, we'll discuss about left recursion. Grammar is left recursive if it is having the production of the form A tends to A alpha or beta. This grammar is left recursive because the left hand side of the production is occurring at the first position on the right hand side of production. Here, A is occurring in the left side as well as in the first position of the right side. This type of grammar is called as left recursive grammar. But we have to eliminate this left recursion for parsing. We can eliminate this by introducing a new non-terminal A dash such that the left recursive grammar of the form A tends to A alpha or beta can be rewritten as two rules after removal of left recursion. Those rules are A tends to beta A dash and A dash tends to alpha A dash or epsilon. So this is the generic form of removing the left recursion. So this can be used for solving the problems related to left recursion. So let us take examples. So first problem we will see here we have two productions. In the first, first production we do not have left recursion because here we have S and here we have A. In the second production we have left recursion because left side is T and right side first position is also T. So we have left recursion in T production. Let us compare this T production with the general production. Uh, here in the position of A we have T. In the position of alpha, we have comma s and in the position of beta, we have s. Let us use this general technique to solve the left recursion in this uh, production. So we have t tends to t comma s or s. So in position of a, we have t. So a tends to beta a dash. So here instead of a, we have to write t. Instead of beta, we have to consider s. And uh, instead of a dash, we have to introduce a new variable t dash. And this t dash can be written as alpha a dash or epsilon. So here alpha is comma s and a dash is t dash and epsilon we have to take as it is. So the grammar after removal of left recursion is given here. First production we are taking as it is. Instead of this second production we are rewriting these two. So t tends to s t dash and t dash tends to comma s t dash or epsilon. So thus we have removed the left recursion from the given grammar. Let us consider one more problem. So here we have two productions, first production not having left recursion, second one having left recursion in L. So we have to remove this. Let us have this general formula for reference. So the solution is given here. We take the first production as it is, second production is rewritten like this. So in the place of L, uh, that is in the place of A, we have L. So L tends to beta a dash instead of beta a dash we are considering beta as s and introducing l dash instead of a dash and this l dash can be rewritten as alpha a dash or epsilon alpha here is comma s and a dash is l dash and then epsilon we are writing so this is the grammar after the elimination of left recursion so thus we have seen the concept of left recursion next we'll see about left factoring in RHS, if more than one production starts with same symbol, then such a grammar is called as grammar with common prefixes. So, left factoring is the process by which the grammar with common prefixes is transformed to make it useful for top-down process. In left factoring, we make one production for each common prefixes. The common prefix may be a terminal or a non-terminal or a combination of both. And rest of the derivation is added by new productions. The grammar obtained after the process of left factoring is called as left factored grammar. So this is the generic technique for obtaining the left factored grammar. Here we have the grammar with common prefixes. So A tends to A alpha 1 or A alpha 2 or A alpha 3. So among all these three productions, the common prefix is A. So this is written in the separate production. So A tends to the common uh, uh, variable, variable or terminal is A. So write that and then introduce a new variable A dash. And this in this new variable A dash, we have to write the rest of the derivation. So rest is alpha 1, alpha 2 and alpha 3. So we are writing it as alpha 1 or alpha 2 or alpha 3. So this is the general technique for obtaining left factored grammar. Let us use this to solve the problem. So here we have two productions. Uh, let us consider this general technique for reference. So the solution for this is given here. So here 
in the second production we don't have so we write it as it is in the first production we have the common prefix that is ieps so this is common for this production as well as this production so we are creating one new production for this common prefix alone so s yes tends to ieps this is the common prefix and we are introducing a new variable s dash and this a is nowhere related to these two so we are writing it as it is and this s dash to, is used to write the remaining part of the derivation s dash tends to what is remaining here we don't have anything so write epsilon and here we have es so es has been written so this is taken as it is so this is the left factor to grammar let us see one more example so here we have this production so if we see the common prefix means here we can consider bs so because bs is available here here and here also so take it for one production so s tends to bs is the common prefix introduce the new variable s dash and this a is written as it is and then this s dash can be used for writing the remaining part of the derivation so s dash tends to what is remaining here s a a s here s a s b and here only b now again this grammar is having the common prefix if you see here s a is common to these two productions so rewrite this grammar write the first one as it is and the second one we are taking this sa common prefix sa and introducing new variable a and this b it is not related so we take as it is and in this a we write the remaining part so remaining part of this is as and remaining part of this is sp so thus we have obtained the left factored grammar because there is no common prefix in these three productions so thus we have seen about the concept of left recursion and left factoring thank you